Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes, so everything is alleged, some is not, and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Um, there's a battle going on now, y'all, in court about rap music, okay? And I find it so very odd, y'all. I really do. I find it so very odd that, you know, people that's not of, you know, our race, are battling it out in court right now to not use lyrics against people when they're go when they you know get caught up for a crime. We all know, I'm, and I'm gonna play a clip for you all. But we all know that the majority of the rappers that's out right now and the music that they're playing and singing that is real life but now they're trying to say that this is made up stories what they're saying now it would be nice if these were made up stories but it's not and it's gotten out of hand because a lot of people are putting people that are deceased on their album covers y'all so they you mean to tell me that that they, they cool with this but the only reason why I feel like they're cool with this is because it's not affecting their neighborhoods. They're trying really, really hard to do whatever they can to help the Gunna and Young Thug get out of jail, y'all. Ever since Young Thug has came on the scene, he's been after Lil Wayne. Been trying to take him out. Trying to take out people. Getting people taken out. Putting bags on them, allegedly. But it's okay because they're doing it to people of color, okay? This is why they keep on letting these criminals right back out on the street. And you know what amazes me? That it's a lot of people of color that's running around saying free them. Never mind 50 bodies, over 50 bodies. Never mind all the stuff that they're out here doing. This don't make sense to me, y'all. But I want to play this clip for you all really quick. Because people are ignorant out here, y'all. They really are. They are ignorant. But I want to play this little clip for y'all. A look at how some prosecutors are using rap music lyrics to build their cases against hip-hop artists charged with crimes. It's bringing up the question over what's protected under the First Amendment. ABC's Ashan Singh is here with more on that. Ashan, good morning. Morning, Wade. It's the case involving two of rap's biggest names, Young Thug and Gunna, facing accusations in a RICO case that has the music industry on edge. Now their music, their own creative expression that got them into the limelight, is being used against them as part of the indictment. Check it out. They're two of the biggest names in hip-hop. So just because they two of the biggest names in hip-hop, they can rap about taking people out and we're not supposed to, you know, it's not supposed to affect us, y'all. What is going on? But this morning, they find themselves at the center of a controversial debate in court. Should rap lyrics be used as evidence in the courtroom? I told her stop telling said Wait a minute, y'all. If you are rapping about a crime that you have committed or you pay others to commit, yes, it should be used in court. This don't make no sense. Kitchens, known as Gunna, were arrested for allegedly participating in street gang activities and violating RICO law, accusing the men of using YSL, the Young Slime Life Gang, to create havoc in our community. The group's YSL name, incidentally, also the name of Young Thug's record label. The rapper's lyrics, one piece of evidence prosecutors are using in the indictment. I never killed anybody, but I... He said he ain't never killed nobody, but he has something to do with the bodies. This is what he's saying, y'all. I'm just cutting out the music part because they're going to be, you know, trying to hit my video. A, a, a part of the prosecution and part of their early argument that he is involved in criminal activity. But a growing petition, backed by big music industry names, has now received more than 40,000 signatures, pleading with prosecutors not to criminalize rap lyrics and protect black art. Now, first off, this is not art, y'all. This is not art when somebody is taking people out and then turning around and rapping about it. I'm going to ask y'all this question. If they were taking out white people, well, do you think that will, it'll, it'll even be a debate? 
ask yourself this question. If they were taking out white people and rapping about it, do you all think that this would even be in court right now? The reason why it's in court is because they do not care about black people, y'all. This is why it's in court right now. And those, and, and believe it or not, y'all, those 40,000 signatures is probably black people that's trying to get them out of jail after all the stuff that they're out here doing. This is crazy to me. Like, I don't even understand people. They say that they're not cleaning up the streets. They say that their neighborhoods is getting worse and worse. And then when they do do something and take out a whole bunch of them, y'all, because they took out their whole crew under a RICO charge. Then, you know, a lot of black people is fighting them to let them back out. I don't understand it. Do y'all want the streets cleaned up or not? Make up your mind. And then when, you know, they go home and then they, they then found out somebody in their family then got taken out and this and that and that and this. Then they want to complain about the police not doing anything. But when they do, this is what this is what they get. Okay, let's keep going, y'all. And they talking about this is art. This is not art, y'all. But some prosecutors argue there are no legal protections against using artistic speech of criminal activity in the courtroom. The First Amendment does not protect people from prosecutors using it as evidence if it is such. This, as the New York State Legislature advances a first-of-its-kind bill pushed by Jay-Z and other hip-hop artists that would limit the use of rap lyrics in court as crime. Now, Jay-Z is known as this Illuminati fucking goddess, okay? Him and his wife, that's all they push. It's demonic music out here for these kids to listen to. This is what they pushing. Now, and I'm going to say allegedly, okay, on this part, but they have, even um, Jay-Z, is somebody still dropped around him that they say he had something to do with, y'all. So who is he? That, you know, they are pushing this because of him. Y'all, please. It, it's well known that him and Beyonce do not care about the youth. They don't care about nobody but their pockets. That's all they care about. They could care less what's going on. Look at look what was going on with the 7-Eleven stores and people was hitting these 7-Elevens up. Okay, y'all? Just so it could bring some, some you know demonic energy because she got her new song coming out an album y'all please pay attention to what's going on out here in these streets we got artists out here that care and we got artists out here that don't and if y'all have not heard that bone thugs and harmony video um with him talking about they sit him down at a table bone thugs and harmony and they wanted them to push this negative influence on you know, the youth and everything, and they refused to do it, so they got blackballed. These these right here, Jay-Z and Beyonce, they loving to push this negative energy out here. That's all they want to put out here. Stuff that making people just go out of their minds, okay? People is running around here humming her songs and this and that and that and this, and y'all are humming somebody that do witchcraft, music. And he's in court fighting so that the artists, so-called artists, y'all, that's taking people out and rapping about it, they not use it against them. Really, y'all? When he leave his house, he got security everywhere he goes. Okay, y'all? His house is protected because they got a lot of money, him and Beyonce. They don't live in the hood. So nobody's coming, you know, they can't, they, they're not going to the neighborhood parks. And their kids are getting hit up in the streets. And then the people that hit their kids up turn around and make a rap song about it. They're not in that situation. So how can they speak on this, y'all? Let's keep going, y'all. Crime evidence. Though legal experts say there is strong precedent for the use of rap lyrics as courtroom evidence. If there are facts in real life that hold a very close nexus to the lyrics that he articulated in that rap song, then he may have a very serious problem. And I want y'all to listen to this black guy right here. Oh, he's so ignorant it don't make sense. 
they have the nerve to put this guy right here on the news to represent us, okay, y'all? I want y'all to listen to what he has to say. Some artists worried about what this means for rap's future. If we allow the courts to prosecute these men based on characters they created and stories that pretend that... These are not characters that they're creating. These are not pretend stories. These are real life stories and everybody knows this. So who is this guy that they put on the news, y'all? I don't even get it. They have the nerve to put somebody on the news without color skin, okay, y'all? To sit up here and say that these are pretend stories. When we know different. The people that listen to these songs, we know that they are real life stories. The majority of them. So where is he getting this pretend from? Now, this is the thing that I talk about all the time. Why not make it pretend stories? This is the thing that I talk about all the time. If they have pretend stories, then there's there's no beef. They make money off of beefs. Okay, y'all? They This person talk about that, that, this person, that person talk about this person. And they, even people from the same record label be beefing with each other. Okay? Until it gets serious and then one gets knocked off and then the other one is still with the record label. I've been talking about this for a very long time. And I say this all the time. If rap music was something that was good for people, it would be pretend, y'all. It would be pretend. What is wrong with pretending, to making up a story and writing this rap song and then there's no beef? You know what's wrong with that situation? Then there's no bloodshed. This is why it's so important for them to beef with each other so that one person get knocked off and they make money off of this. And then when a person get knocked off, the record labels get paid. This is why they're fighting so hard for these lyrics not to be used, y'all. Okay, let's keep going. They tell it rhyme, then next they'll be at your door. Young Thug and Gun. He said they're going to be at our door next if we let them continue to use rap lyrics why would they be at y'all door this is just how ignorant people are we don't rap so why would they be at our door y'all wake up and pay attention to what's going on they're trying to pass laws so somebody can sit up there and put take people out turn around and put them being taken out on their album covers okay this is what they're passing the law for. Y'all pay attention to what is going on right before your eyes. And people don't understand this. That's another race. They wouldn't understand what we're going through as far as our neighborhoods and stuff. And how bad that it has gotten. Okay, y'all? Let's keep going. Anna are facing racketeering charges. Their attorneys told ABC News that they are innocent. Industry experts concerned about what they say is unfair targeting of rap lyrics as opposed to other music genres. <laughs> rap music is the only fictional form, musical or otherwise, that is targeted this way in the courts. Is it racist? It's absolutely racist. It's not racist, y'all. Don't let them keep pushing this shit off on us, talking about this is racist. It's racist that they're protecting this. That's what's racist about this, because it's our communities that this is messing up, y'all. Okay, this is our communities. It's nothing racist about this. This is why this white guy can get on here and talk about, oh, they're being racist because they're messing with rap music. All other races is not on here taking people out and then singing about it. It's only our people that's doing this. And don't let these people fool y'all that's jumping on these news reports and sitting up here talking about, oh, it's racist that they go after rap people. They should go after the ass. Because this should not be something that they should be pushing off on the kids, y'all. Okay? No way, no how, no shape, no form. So don't let these people jump on the news and talk about, oh, we petitioning for this and we petitioning for that. <sighs> y'all... Don't listen to this mess. Do not listen to this mess. If y'all want the streets cleaned up, they got to start with these rappers. Because a lot of these rappers are the ones that's, they don't, they from the streets, y'all. They from these street associations. So when they come up and they're doing the things that they're doing, they're coming back to the hood, passing out money to the people in the hood. You know what they're doing with that money? 
they're buying more toys, y'all. More weapons. This is what they're doing. And they're calling themselves sewing up the neighborhoods. So they can keep their money rolling. And they can pretend. Like when the people get pulled over, they can say, oh, I did a show. I'm a rapper. But really, it's street pharmacy money. Okay? This is how this is going, y'all. And nobody's suffering from this but us. So don't sit there and let these people brainwash y'all. Please don't do that. Do not let them brainwash y'all to the point, oh, they doing gun and them wrong. No, gun and them did their own stuff wrong because they're millionaires. And instead of doing something positive for the neighborhoods, they are making it worse. Much, much worse. Okay, y'all? So don't listen to this mess. For real. Essentially what's happening is rap music is being denied the status of art. And guys, while the petition is still going strong, both Young Thug and Gunna's bonds were both recently denied, with their trial scheduled for 2023. Eva? Interesting. Y'all, <laughs> they trying everything in their power to, to let these guys back out on the street. And I'm telling you, just because they're doing the things they're doing. Remember when I told y'all that it's a lot of people that's getting out of jail right now. A lot. And see, this is the reason why a lot of people voted for the president. Because they thought that, you know, she's hard on crime, the vice president. And they thought that she was going to do, you know, make some changes. Okay, get hard on these criminals out here. But they are not, y'all. Pay attention. Ever since she, her and, uh, and Biden been in office, they have been going so much lighter on these criminals out here. Everybody that's, you know, out here doing really major crimes, they go in and get right back out. People that's doing minor stuff, they staying in there. Pay attention to this, y'all, okay? So, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.